All right, so I just watched the uh, WWDC 2020. It impressed me a lot, by the way, is I'm not even working up to, I don't even know what WWDC is today. I just kind of like opened up my computer. Um, then I see, oh, today is WWDC, then opened up. Um, I think for me, the biggest update is CarPlay. I use CarPlay a lot. So the thing is, so you guys know, I don't, I don't know if I can tell you guys before, I'm considering you switching a laptop. Right now I have these two right here, MacBook or um, school stuff video editing for video editing before but right now I switch video editing on here so that's my gaming laptop has a much better performance can play games I can do video editing Photoshop everything is uh, really fast faster than MacBook but I just see today in the morning Mac uh, Apple announced that their MacBook gonna switching to use the uh, Apple silicon which is the processor in the uh, iPad Pro a 12 Z bionic chip that thing is fast that thing is really fast at least on the ipad i don't know how is it gonna transform in on um, macbook maybe it is even for really good thing for gaming now for the uh, macbook because that thing is incredible fast both for a uh, cpu and gpu at it was the bounding chip including gpu performance and then on the launch event they used that to play shadow the tomb raider um, which is perfectly running perfectly fine i couldn't see the frame rate i couldn't see the setting because they didn't really show it but from like the just what I'm seeing right now, like what I'm watching on the thing, watching on the video feed, it is pretty smooth. So uh, I'm really expecting that gonna be happening on the MacBook. I don't know when, cause probably next year or this year, MacBook 2020. I'm considering switching a laptop, but if the Apple one actually does really well for gaming, I might just get another MacBook. Uh, it, it is pretty expensive, by the way. MacBook is always um, the price is up there. If it's not, if it's still kind of like processing process processor is fast but other stuff not that much I'm probably just gonna get a Razer and a Razer laptop for gaming both for video editing is pretty good so uh, yeah that's my plan right now this is caffeine pills is 200 milligram of caffeine per pill I usually take two this is 200 milligram of caffeine yeah it will help me a little all right just finish editing the last vlog why is my videos always started up with finish editing last vlog same thing happened to this one right I think I just edited it so that's exactly what I just said in the beginning of this video is finish editing last vlog and just upload it why is it my GPU acceleration why is it my a GPU acceleration using this graphic card, not using this one. I don't know. Should I? Is this some sort of setting I messed up? All right, guys. I'm currently editing this video right now. So I just got a new mouse here. Um, this is a really, really cheap mouse from from Amazon. How cheap it is? It's about I think it's 15 bucks. And uh, I don't know. Yeah, right now these days, uh, this super cheap uh, device. It came out like a lot of feature. First, this is a Bluetooth mouse. You can also here here is uh oh my god i can't get it out here is a receptor or is this called receptor receiver um you can plug it in and here you can also plug in the uh wire which it can also charge it while you're using it and you can also using like a wired mouse so the reason why i'm actually trying this out because um so a couple yesterday i bought this this thing this thing is kind of like you plug it in get in right here in your usb type c then you plug uh this thing in um uh, I use a uh, Razer wireless gaming Mamba or something like that. I use it. Literally burned my receiver. But it works probably on this wireless mouse right here. This is also a Razer one, but I just prefer something like this wireless. I have the uh, Apple, this one, Magic Mouse. It is pretty bad. I don't really like that. Yeah, just not for me. It feel really bad. It feel worse than this one. So uh, for myself, I'll prefer this one more than that Apple Mouse. Yeah, just a quick update. It, it was really good. It was so good i mean it's not as good as this guy but like it's better than that guy it's better than the apple mouse which it only costs 15 dollars these days this mouse is crazy
All right, so I just got a Google Nest Wi-Fi. No, not Wi-Fi. Google Nest Mini. So uh, this is actually Google uh, now it to me for free. I think it is because I have the YouTube Premium for a long time. Or if you have YouTube Premium, they'll give it to you anyway. I don't know. But um, I think I they, they say they're gonna ship it to me kind of like last month, and uh, they finally give it to me right here. So um, so it supports Google Music, Spotify, um, Google Calendar, Google Maps, Google Duo, and Google Assistant. Basically, it's like a smaller version of the HomePod I have right here. I'm not gonna show you guys right here right now. Is it? it also looks like a smaller version of HomePod. I think it all looks like this for such this kind of um, smart home device. I think I'm gonna plug it in. Um, I also got these pairs of kind of like the gym gloves. Um, Cause you know, coronavirus, I can't go to gym even though it is open, but it's still kind of like two million people getting infected right now. So, uh, but I trying to do like a home workout. Uh, it, it's not that effective so far because it's a lot of problem. One of the problem is I don't, because you don't have a proper equipment, you're just trying to lift random thing up that has a, a lot of weight. It's maybe the thing is not the Designed for your hands to hold it so when you hold it doing whatever the thing you're doing uh, it is it hurts your hand so I guess this could be like a solution for that I need a gym, glo uh, gym gloves anyway because when I'm back in the gym I can still use it otherwise before I got like little thing right here how am I gonna wear in this Ooh. yep it is it is really good it is really good so far so uh yeah, if you really, if you hurt your hands a lot while you're working out, try these. These are pretty good. Here's still this uh, this issue is like the iPhone front facing camera doesn't give you that extended dynamic range. Only the back camera has. Right now I'm gonna switch to back camera. You guys will see different. Right now see here is overexposed and I'm gonna okay now you see here this is on ultra wide it is not that that bad anymore i don't know why iphone apple didn't think about like the front facing camera they just did, didn't really did it on purpose they're trying to want people use this ultra wide i mean i think most people does but i don't know That's, uh, that's my dinner tonight. This is some sort of barbecue thing. All right, good morning, guys. Um, I just have my um, math math test in the morning. I did some work for today. I only slept like four hours and five hours last night. It was so, I'm so tired. Yeah, but I finished all the work. Right now it's only like 8 a.m. right now. I've already finished all the work I'm gonna do today. So the rest of the day, it's kind of like, I choose if I want to sleep, I'll sleep. If I want to stay up, watch some YouTube, I'll watch YouTube. If I want to video game, I can play video. It depends on me. I, I'm going to take a shower. Okay, after I upgraded to the um, iOS 14, I'm recording myself right now, for example, this shot. And there is a green dot right by the camera. Kind of like indicates me that the camera is in use. I that I think that's a really really crazy feature. Cause um I don't know like I never heard that, that happen on the iPhone before. But like maybe is somehow you know a hiker hacking your camera. You don't know. But right now there is the indication, just like what it has on the uh, the uh, MacBook. Let me show you guys. So on a MacBook, if I opened up the uh, FaceTime, you can see here it has a. Uh, green dot right here it indicates it does indicate that the camera is in use so um that's cool 